I've been seeing quite a few 10 piece challenge type things or people just building generally in 10 pieces. So I was like, hey, I can do that. Um, it's a stockade. Little little fun little scene here. Um, I do need your support today, so hit subscribe because I broke my tree. Can you, can you see there? There's a little crack forming on the base. <sighs> Fly too close to the sun and use an actual vintage piece and it will do that, but it's fine. It stays on the base just fine and honestly, that crack may prevent it from breaking other places. But anyways, the actual build is not that. So for a while I've had the idea of using a Technic piece. Let's let's disassemble the scene here. It's a 1x4 Technic beam. It's got three peg holes. I've put that on top of a uh, palisade block or whatever. And I gave a little head. It's very fun. <laughs> but the idea was that if I could position arms in the holes good enough, you could bend over a body, stick a head through, and the head... <sighs> Again, I would prefer it to be at a little bit more of an upward angle, you know, something as such. So you could see the face just a little bit nicer, but we can't have what we want always. I think it's fine if he's kind of like looking over his shoulder. Maybe even more authentic. Um, but I've had the idea, like I said, toying around for a while. There were a couple different variations that I kind of like worked through that didn't quite work. But this is definitely version one of the idea so we're gonna we're gonna continue to to flush it out basically we've just got a legs and they're on a jumper because of the spacing there um if you if you hold it at the right angle you can barely even see the jumper so i'm not concerned super about that you could also build the um uh, gallows on a jumped area so because of the way it is um you wouldn't notice much honestly if the jumper is not there as long as this is halfway back, this can go up that plate or down, and it's not too noticeable that it doesn't line up perfectly. I think it does work really well with the one plate, but if you were to put um, jumpers forward backwards, one um, plate level, and then the uh, gallow, the, the Technic beam, it would work really well. But the thing that finally let me accomplish this was Super Mario character arms. Those are Bullet Bill arms, which you can get in the Collector Minifigure uh, Series 4 Super Mario. So I was able to finally uh, get some of those. They do make them in yellow for, um, oh geez, uh, Koopa Troopas, I believe. So if you wanted to use them on a living person, I think the effect would look just as good realistically. Um, there's some other colors if you wanted to do different ones. The issue, though, the thing is... Whatever color this is, you're kind of expecting the arm to be the same color as the torso as a general Lego thing. So, like, maybe keep that in mind if you try to make one yourself. If you've got yellow arms, use a yellow brick and a yellow head. And that's easy. The hands and arms are the same color. They don't make it dual molded yet. So you can't have, like, yellow hands, red sleeves, red body. A little bit of a loss, but not a big deal. I went for this skeleton head. I found more skeleton heads, and I found another skeleton... Uh, head in black. Wow. Didn't know I had one of those running around. And then one more skeleton for the undead horde, if you're interested in that. We got a, this one got a little fox head on, so very nice. But anyways, the point being is a very simple scene. I mean, from other angles, it's not nearly as good. But if you were to put this um, this way, especially in front of a building... I think that's not a terrible look. Um, and I've even decided to incorporate a um, stockade in front of my, uh, in, in my town, my little town. So this is going in the making a town playlist, I'm sure. But it's just a little fun version one vignette, a slice of life from medieval Lego world. And I've talked about all the design choices I've made at this point. It's 10 pieces. So, um, yeah. That's uh, that's it, guys. I'm interested to hear if you guys can come up with some better plans. Um, there's other types of arms on Technic pins that I could use. I could also perhaps try something tricky to get the head to just prop up just a little bit. And um, 
The only other thing that I kind of really thought would be nice is if I had a classic uh, no arms minifigure torso. First of all, there's only a stud on the top, so you can hide it a little bit easier than the long neck of a armed figure. Um, and then the uh, there's no arms on it, of course, so the arms would be assumed to be this, but then you would need the matching color to the arms, and I don't know if they even make that torso in white. They do, right? Anyways, that's possibly version two. There's, you know, we can go any direction we want. We don't have to just do what we're expecting. We can, we can do all kinds of crazy, my own creationing. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to leave you guys with automatic video over here. Subscribe. I just love seeing my subscribe numbers go up and letting me retire to be a full-time Lego internet man. That's the dream. There's also a video in the uh, other void area where I picked for you something. Something good, I'm sure. Bye.